गुड इवनिंग सर आई एम उषिता समाज प्रति एंड आवर ग्रुप नंबर इज नाइन एंड आवर मेम्बर्स आर सोना रॉय चौधरी रोहित चक्रवर्ती माइस उषा समाज प्रति शंपा दे एंड रिजवान मामून आवर टॉपिक फॉर प्रेजेंटेशन इज लेक्सिकल एनालाइजर मुविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इज द इंट्रोडक्शन Lexical analysis is the first phase of the compiler and is also known as scanner. It converts the high level input program into a sequence of tokens. Lexical analysis can be implemented with the deterministic finite automata. The autom the output is a sequence of tokens that is sent to the parser for syntax analysis. This is the diagram for the lexical analysis. Moving on to the next slide. Next we come to what is token. A lexical token is a sequence of characters that can be treated as a unit in the grammar of the programming languages. Examples of tokens are in programming language keywords, constants, identifiers, string, numbers, operators, punctuation, symbols can be considered as tokens. For example, in C language the variable declaration line int value equal to 100. Here the tokens are int keyword the value then equal to operator 100 and semicolon thank you sir this is all from my part now over to you shampa thank you ushita now i am going to explain please move on the next slide now i am going to explain this question here i have to count the number of tokens in the following c code so what is taken we this we are we knew from the previous slide so in this question we have to uh, count the number of tokens So in this program, we know that the number of uh, tokens is twenty-six. Now move on to the next slide. Here I am going to discuss about the specification of tokens. So let us understand how the language theory undertakes the following terms. So what is alphabets? The any finite set of symbols is a gray set of binary alphabets. And here on zero to nine A B C D E F is an example of the hexadecimal alphabets. And A to Z is the example of the English language alphabets. And what is string? So any finite sequence of alphabets is called a string. So the length of the string equal to the total number of occurrence of alphabets. For example, we can say the length of the string compiler design is fourteen, and it is denoted by this by this way. And a string have no alphabets means that the length of the string is zero. is known as the empty string and it is denoted by h silent now move on to the next slide so here the question is given which data structure is used by compiler for managing the variables and their attributes so the four four options are there binary trees linked list symbol table and parse table but the correct answer is the symbol table because symbol tables are data structures that are used by the compiler to hold the information about source program constructs And the information is collected incrementally by the analysis phases of the compiler and used by the synthesis phases and generate the target code. Then comes the punctuation, which is comma, semicolon, dot, arrow, etc. And the list of these are assignment, spe special assignment, comparison, preprocessor, location specifier, logical, and shift operators. These are the symbols in this picture depicted here. Now, question number three. Consider the following statement: Symbol table is accessed only during lexical analysis and syntax selects. Compilers for programming languages that support recursion necessarily need heap storage for memory allocation in the runtime environment. Errors violating the condition in the Error any var var variable must be declared before its use are detected during syntax analysis. Which of the above st statements is or are true? So the correct answer is none of these one and two and three statements is. Yes, thank you, Shona. Now the question number five: the number of tokens in an in the fourth run statement. D zero one zero i equal to one point two five each. There are four options: three, four, five, uh, and none of the above. The uh, correct uh, correct answer is three, because uh, of decimal point we can say do 
is not a keyword it is a part of the identifier moving on to the next slide now the conclusion lexical analysis is the first is a very first phase in the compiler design lexemes and tokens are the sequence of characters that are included in the source program according to the matching pattern of a token lexical analyzers is implemented to scan the entire source code of the program lexical analyzer analyzer helps to identify token into the symbol table moving on to the next slide here are the differences that we uh, uh, used to make our presentation and uh, this is all about me and my team okay thank uh, you thank very you good much. presentation thank